Yo, welcome back to another Mythbuster video. <clears throat> when it comes down to flaws and impact on grade, one of the flaws that many of us dislike but have very little impact on the grade is writing on the covers, okay? Very often, we, in general, downgrade a book much harsher than the professional graders would do, okay? Most of us, unless, unless we are collecting or buying yellow label books for whatever reason, we're okay with the signatures and the handwriting on the covers, okay? It doesn't bother those collectors. I don't collect yellow, uh, yellow label. I have a few signature, signature series uh, slabs and I have some books signed, but overall, I'm not a fan of writing on the covers. I don't hate it, but I prefer my books to be clean, okay? Yes, we all are not the same. It's weird, you know, this hobby has a wide range of collectors. I don't like handwriting, even if it's a small date stamp, date writing on the covers, but I like date stamp from a stamp, if that makes sense, right? <laughs> I think it's more understandable if someone say, I hate anything foreign on the cover, whether it's handwriting or date stamp or store stamp, I think those people are more sane than people like me who hate handwriting but like date stamp. Yes, I'm not here to defend my wackiness. Regardless, it's a huge myth that writing on covers hurt the books in the grade, okay? Does it hurt the grade? Size matter, okay? It's with anything in this hobby. Any flaws, regardless if it is a tear, a crease, a stain, or handwriting, it's about size, okay? So keep that in mind for those that usually uh, email me for grading helps. A lot of times, the description is lacking in size. <laughs> hint, hint. <laughs> so, when it comes down to handwriting or pen writing, whether it's in pen or pencil, size matter. But those that are familiar with the church pedigree, the my high pedigree, a lot of those nine six slabs have a little handwriting on them, I think in pen. And that's not alone. There's other pedigree, there's other high grade books in nine six, nine four slabs have small handwriting. Could it be 9-8 as well? I think so, okay? Um, if I can find examples after I shoot this video, but before I load this video, I will slide in some example, but size matter, okay? So when it comes down to, you know, grading a book, one thing that most of us usually keep forgetting is that when it comes down to low grade books, does a few handwriting, name writing on the covers impact the grade? It doesn't. For mid grade, not really either. Now, now if for mid grade books or high grade books, if the writing is in a marker that bled through, that bleed through the cover, that is what hurt the book, okay? I remember years ago on the CGC forum there was discussion and I remember reading and even I think a CCC grader even chime in to confirm that. So if you have somebody you know use a marker and scribble across the cover and that black marker bleed through the cover, that will hurt the grade more than anything. Okay? So keep that in mind. Try not to lump in all writing on the cover as a huge impact on the grade. Size matter. Small things matter none for high grade. 
small thing metal none for low or mid grade medium size by medium size I say like a, 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 somebody write their name that could be two inch long okay have no impact on mid level or low level okay now something two or three inch long on a nine six books guess what that will impact the grade that's why you see the green label okay whenever you see a green label with a note say handwriting on the cover that's why when, when you see a 9.6 green label the reason why it's green is that the grade is as if the writing is not on the cover that's why it's a 9.6 if they grade that is a universal blue label the grade likely could be one level lower maybe two level lower okay and if you have a marker that is that, that bled through the cover even for mid grade book that will get ding maybe one grade lower now for low level it might not matter okay low grade books are low grade for many other reasons <laughs> lots of flaws okay so when I come down to low grade books what cause it to be low grade could be huge structural problem not the writing on the covers okay hopefully that's bust the myth so that we collectively don't downgrade the book too much for writings on the cover keep in mind size and whether the ink bled through the covers matters thanks for watching bye bye